So with all the zoo running around, it seems like playing a deck that's at least good against zoo seems like a great idea. Which is why even Shaman is actually holding the highest win percentage deck at the moment. Some decks out there are running Thunderhead and two Zap, and I just feel like that's wrong. It might end up being right, but I don't know. I've tossed in a copy of Elementary Reaction. I think Menacing Nimbus is amazing, uh, and there's more Elementals with Elementary Reaction than I kept the Fire Plume Phoenixes in, which are also Elementals. Tossed in an Arcane Dynamo because you can get a Bloodlust. Some people are running two copies of it, which I feel like are overkill. I don't even know if one copy is right. So yeah, seems good. Let's roll. Let's roll over some zoo. Let's just win generally. <laughs> the Madman! Hunter. What are Hunters right now? For some reason, I'm gonna mulligan zap though, because I don't feel like Hunters actually need to get zapped. But what is a Hunter? We have turned our curse hmm. into our strength. Only good hunter deck is still Egg Hunter. It sounds about right. Should I Earthen my, my totem and send it to the face? Or should I summon another totem? I'm greedy. So it looks like it's a spell hunter. Seems very unlikely that he would. Eh, let's do this one. But if I use this and I send that in and then I zap, then that's probably the best play, I think. Okay. Yeah, he's just playing cards in order to get the turn 5 spells turn off. So when he plays it, there's going to be 4 waffles. So the, he'll have 4 guys on his board, which means I will have on my side 4, so the Sea Giant will cost 2. I will have 5 mana if I zap. If the Sea Giant costs 2, I can go... This can be... Yeah, it's, it's going to work out. The Fire Plume Phoenix has to go face, which is unfortunate. Let's see, with 4 mana I can do something like Eel, Might... Uh, no, then I won't have enough mana. Oh yes I will, because Sea Giant will cost 2. But then Sea Giant will cost 1, and then it'll cost 0 if I play the Earthen Might also. Or if I play the, uh, 2, 4, 5, something, something. F7, sure. Every one of these uh, damage things is going face. Uh oh. Whenever you cast a spell, draw a minion from your deck. Whenever you cast a minion, play a random shaman spell. From your deck. Blah blah blah. So Hagatha is the next turn's play. I guess we'll play Bog Shaper. Agatha goes well into the Nimbus after all. This Nimbus is two cards for Hagatha. That's gonna be an out value game. Hagatha versus Build a Beast. Which one will prevail?
Oof. That's so violent. The calm before the storm. Next battle cry, this turn triggers twice. Mm, seems unnecessary. Super value healing to him. Will I hex that guy? That's a pretty good guy. And how do I deal with this thing? I think I earthen might this and then send it in. It's likely going to be the wandering monster. The freezing trap already gotten rid of. Something like that. Wow. You got me. Wait, I should have hexed first and then attacked with a two tier. Yeah. Good call. Then I know they aren't freezing trap for sure. I need some healing. Can you help me out of here, Hagatha? A uh, 4, 6, 8, 10, 13 damage. 4, 6, 8, 10, 13. I love omelets. How long can this go on? How long can this go on? I must decide! How long can this go on? How long can this go on? Take shelter! It's, it's a beast, but I'm at 8, so I don't think that matters. So I'll hold Zap. Damage against thirteen, two, six, eight, ten, twelve, fifteen. I should have hit the face with this guy. Unfortunately, not punish. Zoo. Then we can kind of do some bullying. We have turned our curse into our strength. Let's see if he doesn't play anything. Why okay, let's see. I was thinking if he doesn't play anything, what should I do? This game is going to come down to how strong a play he does here. And Tap is going to lose him the game. And is this all snowballs from here? I've got make a guy, I've got buff a guy, I've got play a guy, kill a guy. I think it's over. And this is why even Shaman has a strong win rate against Zoo. Turn 2 win the game is pretty good. All of our stuff just continues to scale up and up. I actually want the totem to be first, so I'm going to go totem and then knife juggler. The one damage to his face doesn't really matter much. Whoops, I missed two damage, whatever. I really hope he's not actually a control warlock. I mean, the big picture is if he's zoo, you control the board and you win. So. Who cares about anything else? A little bit of damage missed here, a little bit of damage missed there. 
Whatever. But what's more important is the totem was summoned in the middle, which made this more threatening. So you want to play this first to not waste damage. Fuel. That arcane dynamo will be threatening the bloodlust, which is looking mighty threatening at the moment. I have lethal? 2, 4, 5, 7, 8, 10, 12 now. Take shelter. Uh, here first. But I really want the juggle to get. No, I only have one juggle. I do want to clear the board. This is the highest chance of uh, getting good trades in, I think. Yeah, that was right. Because any hit would have made for good trades, I think. And I could have risked the uh, juggler at the end, also. Um, yeah, I should get there. Protect juggle, protect this, win game. It looks like a juggle onto either of these doesn't matter. So we want the damage to go on first and then play the Phoenix so the juggle has a chance of hitting this guy. Has the highest chance of hitting that guy. I like winning the game on turn 2 against Zoo. They never had a chance. I think that looks like a good card. Turned our curse into our strength. I wonder what the big spell mage matchup is. That's one that I don't really know the stat on. Uh, should I hear a power? Or should I? I should hear a power. I would guess the big spell mage matchup is bad. Zap with the eel, or play a flame tongue. Flame tongue can be saved for Alec here. Strangely enough, looking at the big spell mage versus even shaman matchup might help me make my decision here. Big spell mage, even shaman, pretty bad matchup for me. According to the stats, um, there's not much chance to remove totem. I think I should play it. I don't need any of you. the 3-1-1 totem back, so I'll summon a totem first. The healing totem would have been so good there. I'm 
It's a little bit tough to actually summon this guy into Dragon's Fury, potentially, or Blizzard, but I'll do it. When I look at it, the board's like only a... There's not a good enough board to stay on. This curse has become our greatest strength. Maybe I didn't have to play Serenite there. I mean, the alternative was just pressing the totem button. No, I figured that the opponent could just do the hero power and be good enough. <laughs> this, um, Eureka might not be bad here. I think it would be wrong to pick Bloodlust since I'm currently losing. Play out Knife Juggler, then Eureka, maybe. Hopefully don't draw something bad. Hmm. Let's hope to not get never unlucky. Eureka! I guess I can't complain. That's incredible. That's incredible. So I was commenting that he didn't have what? He traded ah, Jesus. Come on. Where was I? I guess I can just play Sea Giant. 4 plus 6 equals 10. Where was I? He didn't have any removal for my 8 8 the first time around. He traded Baron Geddon, which might mean he doesn't have a single, single target answer. I can just get in s two damage also, and Kalamos can finish him. Poor Murloc. Destroy you. Well played. That's not a valid target. That's not a valid target. The elements are the same. That's not a valid target. That's not, that's not a valid target. That's not a valid target. That was a mistake. <laughs> uh, 